Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted as always, as you already know, to be joined by Mr. Thomas Patrick Ward. Thomas, another solid 10 rounds in the bank there. Uh, and fitness isn't the key for you. You can do these rounds with ease. Uh, but just talk to me about the performance in there tonight. Yeah, I mean, it was all about performance, to be honest. Like I said there, I'm not, not overly happy with myself, but, you know, everyone says the camp goes, goes brilliantly, but it was, but I had a few injuries and... Like I said, it was it was 50-50 whether I was going to fight or not, and it was like I made a decision I wanted to fight, and you know, um, I knew I knew who I was up against. I knew he was he was a tough guy, and I know I know he knows his way around the ring, but you know, he a little bit past his best. You know, I think I seen that against Archie Sharp and that, and I knew I had the tools to go out there and I boxed him for 10 rounds, and you know, injury to me left and injury to me Achilles made me movement and me shots not not as not as much as what probably would normally be. That's why. You know, I tried to just work a little bit more and give the fans a little bit more because I knew I was in control. I knew he couldn't hurt me, so I just wanted to, just to do something like that. But, you know, uh, a little bit critical of myself. But, you know, we, we move on. Definitely. Yeah, the left hook to the body, I, I was watching, sitting ringside and I was watching. It seems like you're trying to get that left hook tight, get that in there and try and hopefully open up to the head. But was he just too tough in there? Yeah, yeah, he's a, just, just a tough cookie, like I said. I think he just knows his way, knows his way around the ring. He just, you know, he sort of, he sort of knew as well what was coming. You know what I mean? So he, he was gathering up. But like I said, my me, me left hook wasn't wasn't on point because, you know, it was sore every time I was chucking it. You know, but like I knew I had to rip it in to slow him down a little bit because he was just, you know, just marching forward with his little bob and weave and that there. You know, he's just one of them trying to make you work out your comfort zone. But you know, just try to slow him down a bit. But um. You know, he's like I say, he's just tough. He's a, he's a tough guy, but good fight in his day. But a little bit past his best now. Is it hard for you to get up for these fights? I mean, you're 33, 34 fights into your professional career. You, every single your management company I've, I've talked about promoters that you've been with, your your coaching team. I've talked your fellow fighters in the northeast, fellow fighters in Britain. I've always said Thomas Patrick Ward will be a world champion. If that fight's been there, you fought out in America. Is it hard for you to to stay motivated and get up for these fights that are on the ten rounders that you've done? Many many times before in your career, is it hard for you to get up for that? Yeah, I mean, uh, not not so much my last fight against Padilla. Mm. I mean, I was up for that fight because I knew he was a, he was a puncher and you know he was ranked number three by the WBA. But you know, someone against them um, like like this guy was, uh, you know, it's like where's the fear factor a little bit? You know what I mean? Mm. Where's the fear factor a little bit? And it is a little bit hard, but and I think that's why you will see the best of me, the better the fighters and the better things. You'll see the better Tommy Ward. Lee Woods in the building. Um, uh, will you have a conversation with him and try and get this fight on? Um, we spoke a little bit about uh, being not active on social media because that's obviously the way fights get made nowadays, it seems. But um, I'm sure you'll have one eye on the fight tomorrow night. And obviously, with the two world titles being in this country and you are from this country, do you, do you feel like you're, you need to be more yeah, active yeah, on that? About, yeah, probably, yeah. But like I was just saying there, I think, uh, I, think I said it on, on Wednesday as well. Um, I think... The way it's probably looking is Lee would probably get uh, the winner of Martinez and, and Warren. I fancy Josh Warren to win, to be fair. Um, and you know, why not? I think uh, he, he won the world title as a uh, voluntary defence and then he beat his mandatory, which is McConnell, who was a very good fighter and it was a very good fight, wasn't it? And he showed, uh, he showed heart and everything that got dropped and everything. So, you know, fair play to him. But um, So I think if them two get it on, like, like I said, leave me going to win another world belt, bring it back to Britain. And let's unify the titles in Britain uh, back end of the year, early next year for a big massive showdown. Why not? I think that'll be that'll be that one. That's what well, my next question was going to be. Do you have to go and face the other two world champions, the Navarettes and the Mark Magzao, who's the WBC and WBO world champions? Do you maybe have to go face one of them two, grab that belt, and come back here and dangle that cat in front of the winner of uh, Warrington Wood, if that is the case? I think that would make make more sense, wouldn't it? I think, like I said, with Pro Bellum now and my management team, which is Chef, I think they will get me in the position where I will. They'll have to fight for the world title, you know. Um, I know he's given me a plan out this year, and he wants to keep me busy and stuff. So, you know, but I think he will get me in position. And like I said, if I go out there and I win one, then yes, probably next year we can, um, like, get the unification fight on in Britain with Wood or hopefully Warren if he wins tomorrow night. Whoever the winner may be, two we talked about it, two nice guys, brilliant guys. So, why not? You know, we'll get on in Britain. We'll get the fight on. You know, best man wins, and you know, we'll get the fight. Fans would want. Yeah, have a preference between Mark Magzaro, WBC champion, or Navarrete, WBO. Have you seen much of Mark who beat Gary Russell Jr.? I haven't. I've just seen the Gary Russell Jr. fight, you know, and I thought he, I thought he won the fight. And if you don't get me wrong, Gary Russell Jr. was like, never boxed for years, you know, and he's obviously he's quite a busy fighter. But, you know, you can't beat good guys with inactivity. You need to be act active, you know. So, like, that's why I'm thankful as well. People say, oh, well, why are you not fighting for title? Take what you can, because if you're out the ring a year and two years, if Sharp goes by and then you get a good fight in, 
you know you might not you might be ring rusty and then you then you fall short then whose fault is it you should have took the fight so you know i think that's what happened with gary russell that night but no he's, he's a good fighter i believe he's fighting in june so you know hopefully maybe back end of the year maybe if we can concert um get the spot the mandatory spot to fight him um or navarati uh whatever the case may be we'll go and take our chances and we'll come back like you said and hopefully um we'll get the unification fight on in britain one final word then, Josh Warrington is fighting Mar- uh, Kiko Martinez in the rematch tomorrow night. You did say you fancy Josh Warrington. Just a quick thought on that fight as well. Break it down a little bit. I think it's a good fight. I just think, um, like, Martinez, up and wrong, is, is he punches hard. As you can see, he knocked out Kid Galahad, and he's always got to punch his chance without a, sh- out a shadow of a doubt. But for me, I think Warrington's just too busy. Uh, I think his defence is a little bit better. Um, and I don't think he'll get complacent a little bit. Galahad did. I think he won the first four or five rounds easy until he got, you know, I think he just thought it was easy and then he got clipped. And I don't think that'll happen with Warnton. And over him getting knocked out, I, don't, I think Warnton will have that in his mind as well. Mm. So I think from round one to round 12, I don't think he'll stop him, but I think it'll, um, it'll be a good fight and I think he'll win on points. Well, there you go, you have. It. I'll put a bit on then since you. That's the, the Thomas, w- Thomas Ward breakdown. Listen, Thomas. I'm looking for a <laughs> <laughs> No, I only put a fiver on. Um, listen, congratulations tonight. Well done. And. Uh, I'm not going to interview you until you get a world title shot. How's that? I'll see you next time I fight. <laughs> see you next time you fight, definitely. Cheers, Thomas. Cheers, mate.